After the Battle of Chibi, the land was divided in three, between Wu, Wei, and Shu. Everyone's saying that it's going to be a three-way fight from now on. That's when that good-for-nothing Liu Bei asked us to attack Wei at Heifei. I don't know why, but our lord agreed to it. Why should we go and help them? Fighting battles for other people. To make things worse, Gan Ning is fighting in this one too. I don't feel too good about it, but I guess there's nothing I can do about it either. We will soon invade the Wei territory of Heifei. Ling Tsong, I understand what you're feeling. But we have to focus our attention on defeating Wei. Cao Cao is the one we are after. Additionally, we must watch out for Zhang Liao, who is guarding Hei Fei. However, I don't see him anywhere. I wonder what's going on. Currently, the enemy is few and their defenses are thin. However, those that remain are veterans of many hard-fought battles. You must not underestimate the strength of their resolve. Begin the advance! Their numbers are few! Wipe them all out! Did you think you could break through our forces? Did you think you could overcome this base?
forward for honor! With my spear, I will sever the threads of Wu's destiny! It's an ambush! Turn back and rebuild the camp! The enemy is formidable! You're no match for the strength and skill of Zhang Liao! If you stand in my way, I shall show no mercy. Behold my might! Take a little extra to get this job done. Your strength is quite impressive. I would rather live and redeem myself than die in shame. Show no mercy. Without the bridge. Father! Brother! Lend strength to my ambition! Next time. Enemy officer defeated.
through the enemy lines and overrun them! Strategy. Enemy officer defeated! Those who oppose me will suffer the consequences. Someday, you shall pay for this. Enemy officer defeated! We have gained the right to rule this land. Although we were unable to kill Cow Cow, the Wei Army will not soon forget the lesson we taught them in this battle. Should we use this momentum to crush Cow Cow? Or perhaps we should break our alliance and attack Liu Bei? Or perhaps... Our next move will surely determine the fate of the land. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is renowned in three kingdoms as a veteran of great ability. The Battle of Heifei ended in victory for us. But I think something may have changed in me while I was out there. I was actually impressed with Gan Ning's efforts. He uses his head out there while he's fighting. Which makes me look even worse, I guess. I don't care for that too much either, but... I think I'm going to move on and forget about the past. It might even help my cause. Alright, it's time to get going and fight for the sake of our future. Ling Tong, we shall defeat the spiteful Liu Bei at Yi Ling. I shall serve as the commander of our forces for this battle. Liu Bei appears to want to try to surround our army and destroy us. We should prepare a fire and use it to even the odds against their much larger army. Zhu Ran's unit is supposed to use a bridge layer and set fire to the enemy camp. Wait for that moment and focus on defense until it comes. Victory for Wu is close at hand.
Lu Xun will take command of this battle. Zhu Ron will need time to prepare the fire attack. We must do everything we can to hold the enemy at bay. Soon Quan must pay for the death of Guan Yu. <laughs> I never thought you'd rely on me to protect your back. You think I enjoy this? It's not easy having to clean up after a reckless brute like you. Ha! Ah, fancy way to say you're having trouble keeping up. Jeez, where'd you learn to be such a jerk? I shall show no mercy. Good. Send out the second wave. Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. Look sharp, everyone! Forward, march! Do you think you can stop me?
Enemy yeah. officer yeah. defeated. It's almost ready. Keep holding. what we've been waiting to see! So this is to be my final battle! Enemy officer defeated! We're ready! Now, Jiran must spread the flame! Go and topple the enemy! Follow me! The attack is ready! Fire! Now it begins! These fires shall light the road to victory in this battle! It's worked! All we need now is to charge the enemy! Hurry! We'll get out of this maze and retreat! Is this the end of my journey? Enemy officer defeated! Finish them off! Don't hold back! Keep moving! So you must be looking for trouble! You're 
You're doing pretty good. Yuge Liang is on his way. Hold on till he arrives. them where they stand. Defeated your trap. Prepare yourself, Liu Bei. Enemy officer defeated! Now you too shall feel that pain that my brothers and I have suffered. Care to show them what we got, Ling Chung? Some things are worth fighting for. We mustn't give up. Shall know my rage. Let's get this over. With. A 
I'll offer your head to the spirits of my brothers. If anyone's losing his head today, it's you. My oath in the peach garden. Broken. Enemy officer defeated! An army raised on anger is doomed to fail. If you live by your emotions, then you shall die by your emotions. It truly is a fitting end for the Obey. Thanks to this battle, we managed to increase our power while rendering shoe armors. All that remains is Wei, who is of no real threat to us. The day of a land ruled by Wu is close at hand. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Ling Tong from the Wu territory. The son of the Wu general Ling Kao, Ling Tong accompanied his father to the battlefield and learned the art of war from a very early age. Ling Kao was slain in Jiangsha by Gan Ning. Devastated at the loss of his beloved father, Ling Tong overcame his grief and swore to avenge him. Gan Ning eventually joined Wu after the Battle of Jiangsha. However, Ling Tong's rage did not cease and the two would often quarrel. Although Ling Tong avoided Gan Ning, the two were often sent out on the same missions. Gan Ning's valor was impressive, and several times he saved Ling Tong's life. After observing Gan Ning's prowess, Ling Tong had no other choice but to acknowledge his valor. When it came time to confront Liu Bei's armies, his feelings of rage had all disappeared. After fighting together in countless battles, the two eventually became very close friends. Their bond brought great strength to Wu and took them one step closer to unifying the land. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today.